Welcome back to another episode of The Meat Transition. Today, we're gonna to be taking juicy chicken thigh meat and we're gonna marinate it in a blend of Middle Eastern spices that's gonna create a robust and flavorful chicken shawarma. You can take this chicken once it's cooked and put it in a pita bread. We're also gonna make a delicious garlic sauce to go with it. Put it over a salad bowl and just eat your heart out. It's gonna be delicious, easy to prepare, and super flavorful. Let's go over the ingredients so we can get started. We're gonna use some olive oil, freshly squeezed lemon juice, an onion, some garlic cloves. I'm using chicken thigh meat, but you can uh, alternate with chicken breast and thigh meat and do a combination of both, or just use one or the other. And then all of the flavor comes from the spices. We have some salt, cumin powder, black pepper, turmeric, a little pinch of cinnamon, some paprika, this is sweet paprika, not the smoked variety, some ground coriander, sumac, black pepper, and crushed red pepper flakes. First things first, we're gonna marinate the chicken and we're gonna begin with a half a cup of olive oil. And you could do a quarter to a third of a cup of lemon juice, depends how tangy you like it. You know I like it tangy, so I'm gonna do a third of a cup. Next, we're gonna grate the garlic cloves. I have five garlic cloves here. And we're gonna mix up all of the spices and the salt and pepper and we're gonna add it to the chicken. That ground cardamom smells so good. Just a little bit goes a very long way. All of these spices are gonna to add tons and tons of flavor. And we're just gonna mix everything up to make sure that the chicken is nice and coated. And the last ingredient that's gonna go in here is an onion. I'm just gonna slice it and add it to this. Mix everything all together, cover it, and then I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator and I'm gonna let it marinate for at least an hour. It could also marinate overnight, six to eight hours. Then you're gonna get maximum flavor out of this thing, but if you're making this in a hurry, you can definitely cook it right away. It is gonna to have tons and tons of flavor. Just that if you have the time and you plan ahead and you marinate it, it's just gonna be even more flavorful. So while the chicken is marinating, we're gonna move on to making that delicious garlicky sauce that we love that's in the shawarma sandwiches. A lot of times though when I eat shawarmas outside, it does taste really good while I'm eating it and then I'm left with this really heavy, icky feeling and it's because lots of times the garlic sauce is just straight up mayonnaise and tons of garlic and both of those things are very heavy and they just don't leave you feeling great at the end once you're done eating it. I make mine with a combination of yogurt, mayonnaise, one garlic clove and a couple tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. The lemon juice really freshens everything up the yogurt keeps it nice and tangy and light, and then that the mayonnaise adds that really nice creaminess and that luxurious texture. And the garlic, all we need is one garlic clove because we one garlic clove because we are gonna grate it. And once you grate garlic, it gets really really strong, so you don't need that much. So we're gonna basically add all of the ingredients to the bowl. Grate the garlic clove and two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. Just mix everything all together. And I'm using whole milk plain yogurt. It's not Greek yogurt. If Greek yogurt is what you have, go ahead and use that. I just really like the consistency of uh, plain regular yogurt because it doesn't get, the sauce stays nice and thin, so that's why I use that. But like I said, use what you have. I'm just gonna give the sauce a taste. Mm, that's perfect. It doesn't need salt, pepper, nothing. This is good to go. This sauce tastes good on everything, so you're gonna to wanna to have some leftovers, trust me. I'm just gonna set this aside, and this stays fresh in the refrigerator for many days, so you can just put this in an airtight container and then pack yourself a delicious lunch to work or send it with the kids to school. Now we're gonna move on to grilling the chicken. So my chicken has been marinating for an hour, and now it's time to cook it. You can cook this on the grill. If you have a grill, just fire up a grill, put it over medium high, put the heat over medium high, or the fire I should say, and then put all of this, all of the chicken and the onions with the marinade on the grill and let it cook about six to seven minutes per side or until the internal temperature of the chicken reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, I'm gonna to cook it using my oven. I am gonna set the broiler to high. So make sure you set your broiler to high and put the oven rack on the highest, uh, as high as it goes basically, so it's close to the heating element. So I've put a cooling rack on top of a baking tray and I'm just gonna put the chicken on the, on the cooling rack. I have tried doing this directly onto a baking tray and the chicken does not come out as juicy as it does when you put the cooling rack, cooling rack on top. All of the juices and the fat drips down to the bottom and then you're left with that delicious juicy chicken. So use the cooling rack if you have one or cook it on the grill. You could also do this on the stove top if you wanted to, if you're making a smaller batch. 
I find that anytime I make uh, chicken shawarma, I like to make a bigger batch because it is great for taking to work or sending it with the kids to school. So if I'm doing it and I'm marinating chicken, I am going to make a big batch. And it does make create a lot of smoke if you're going to cook a lot of chicken that's marinated in all these delicious spices and onions. If you're going to cook it on a stovetop, it is going to create a lot of smoke and you're going to have to wash the pan out many times. That's why I prefer to either do it on the grill or in the oven, but it's totally up to you. That was a big onion, so if you're using, uh, if you're going to use a large onion, just use half of one. I have all of this onion left over. It will definitely not go to waste. I'll let it cook on the bottom. So I'm going to cook this in under the broiler for 16 to 18 minutes. The chicken is going to start to get nice and golden brown on top. I will show you what it looks like as soon as it comes out. So the chicken was ready in 18 minutes. Halfway through, you're going to want to go in and just flip the chicken over so, so that way it browns evenly and cooks evenly on each side. Once it comes out of the oven, let it sit and rest for about 10 minutes and go ahead and slice it into strips. Put it in a big bowl and gather up all those delicious onions that have caramelized and softened and combine them with the chicken. Mix everything all together. And now you're ready to put your chicken shawarma together. And now I'm going to make a pita. I have over here a pita bread. I have some of the sauce. And then I have some salad. This is just ready-made salad that I buy from Costco. My favorite one to get, and this is not sponsored in any way, is this Mediterranean Crunch Chopped Salad Kit. If you guys have a Costco nearby, it is great to have this on hand because there's different greens in here that I don't normally eat, so I like to have a batch of this on hand for those busy days when I don't have time to put together a salad. You can use this if you have it on hand, or you can take any of your favorite salad greens and then just chop them up with a little bit of cabbage, maybe some tomatoes and cucumbers. I'm going to put everything all together right now. So I have my pita bread that I slightly warm. I'm also going to take this delicious garlic sauce. I'm going to make a layer down the center. Then I'm going to take some of the salad and put it on top. There's some little pieces of feta cheese in there too. Then some of this perfectly cooked juicy chicken shawarma. Now if you want to get it extra crisp like you get it in the shops, you're going to want to take it and heat up a cast iron grill and once you slice it, go ahead and warm it through on there about 30 seconds on each side until it gets those crispy bits all around. That's how you're going to get it like the store uh, variety. Then I'm going to take some more of this yummy sauce and put it on top and then just close the pita up just like that. I like to cut mine in half. Look at how beautiful that looks. Time to take a bite. Hmm. Oh my God. Way better than store bought. The chicken has so much flavor. It is so juicy. That creamy sauce is the bomb on here. So delicious. You do not have to eat this with a pita if you're staying away from carbs. Go ahead and put it over a salad, maybe over some rice if you don't mind the carbs or you don't want the bread. Put it over some rice, cauliflower rice, whatever your heart desires. Head on over to the website and print this recipe out, www.demetriusdishes.com. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you like this recipe and you want to learn how to make the Greek version of a chicken gyro bowl, then you're going to want to click on this card over here and I'll see you right there in a little bit. Thank you guys for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, us.